The Smart Console has very sophisticated ways of both updating and displaying automation data, which means it's a wonderful way of very quickly churning through and generating highly automated mixes. Now, for example, if I'm here, um, I see automation data being played back on all my channels. So, for example, I can see what faders are moving up and down under automation, for example. Now, if I'm curious as to what automation state the whole console is in, I press the automation buttons down and I can immediately tell Oh, look, the whole console is in read, except for those two channels 33, 34. And they're in touch. So let's select them and hit play. Because they're in touch, I can just grab them and do moves. Also, the faders are, of course, motorized and touch sensitive. So if I wanted to be in touch, for example, here, I just grab a fader and I'm wiggling and making new lines. To set them back in a read now, all I've got to do is go read and inject them like that. Indeed, I can do that for any channel in front of me. Or again, I can use the arc, just by going read, and then wiping across the arc. What's really nice is actually being able to use the controls to automate your plugins. So here, for example, I want to add a little bit of movement to the channel. I add, let's say, a DJ EQ plugin. Let's add that. Now, if I open it up, I have all the parameters. Grab the gain. Let's pump it up a little, hit play, and... Now, of course, those moves will come back on the same motorized knob. So you can actually, at any point, if you're in touch mode, just grab it, move over the top, add moves, which means you can simply sit there and watch it. And whenever you want to update it, I simply reach out, and from here, I'm going in, and now I'm coming out. So automation with a smart console is pretty nice.